island of Sodor is a unique island, known as the biggest heritage railway in the United Kingdom. This is due to the mainland being run by newer diesels and electric engines. One day, Gordon and Henry were at Knapford. Driver says a famous engine is coming tonight from the main line. Is it flying Scotsman again? You will need those extra tenders again. Gordon laughed, reminding Henry of the six tenders full of boiler sludge. No, this is a young engine who was on TV. A young engine? Probably another tank engine. They will be amazed when they see me pulling the express. And he puffed away. Late that night, all the engines were waiting in the sheds. I heard he was outrun by an old car. Older than him. <laughs> Such a disgrace. An engine being outrun by a car. Disgusting. I heard he had problems with his, but before Edward could finish, a large engine backed into the free berth. Hello there everyone. All the engines looked at the grand engine. Gordon was shocked. Who are you? I thought a young engine was coming. Not one of my brothers. Tornado just laughed. <laughs> I am the young engine. All the engines were shocked. <sighs> I must be getting to sleep. I've had a rather long journey. And with that, he fell asleep. The other engines chatted for a bit, saying how grand he looked. Gordon was not happy. The next morning, Gordon was waiting in a siding at Knapford and saw a rake of coaches that he'd never seen before. Irish shunted them onto platform one. That's my platform. Whose are those coaches and where are mine? Sorry, Gordon. Another engine is taking the express today. Tornado soon puffed up to them. Hello there, are you Gordon? I've heard about you. Your controller wants me to pull the express today. Gordon huffed in displeasure. Why? You're no good, you got outrun by a car. Tornado laughed. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny story that one. It was 2009 and these three men from TV wanted to find out who would have won a race if it had happened in the 1940s. I got the big man. He travelled coal all day, and he wasn't very good at it. And he began to remember his race. He was at King's Cross waiting to go as the TV man climbed aboard. The guards blew his whistle. Poop poop! Off we go, off we go! He chanted. His coaches echoed behind him. Off we go, off we go! He left the station and soon was going at full speed. Not long after, he could feel a problem start. Oh no, a steam leak already? he began to slow down. They managed to fix the leak at his next water stop. Then he was on his way again. The big man kept asking my crew questions about me. He thought that he would be driving me, but I had said that only my driver could do that anyway. Tornado had pulled ahead of the car and bike, but didn't know it. He kept going, when suddenly... Oh, my boiler. Oh, My injector had failed, and I was in lots of pain as my boiler started to run out of water. I had to slow it down again so I didn't explode. 
Gordon looked shocked. Somehow it got working again and I was back to full steam. I overheard the big man say that the car was ahead of us while they were filling me with coal at a stop called York. I had a nice rest there and lots of water. Once I got going again, I had some wheels slip at 70 miles per hour, where some diesel had spilled oil on the tracks. I got into Edinburgh and the big man ran off. I didn't find out until the next day how it had went, but it was a good race, even if I did lose. Gordon just smiled. I was wrong, Tornado. You are a splendid engine. That night, after Tornado got back to the sheds, Gordon had told all the others. Do tell us the story of your race. Tornado just smiled. Well, I was at King's Cross when a big TV presenter, Jeremy someone or other, climbed aboard and we set off. <laughs>